Welcome back as we turn our attention to DIY decor in your home. Plascon really have opened our eyes as to how creative you really can get with something as simple as the interior colors of your house. I was very proud of myself when I learned about the ombre technique, which basically takes you from one intense color faded into another. If you're looking to achieve this very dramatic effect in your own home, Ewan is about to take us through that process, how you can achieve this result professionally, cleanly, and quite spectacularly. Take a look. Here at the Plascon Spacer showroom in Johannesburg, there's always something fresh and exciting happening. And it also serves as the backdrop for our DIY segment this morning, where we're touching on the ombre effect, an effect that is becoming more and more popular every single day. And we're with Claire from Plascon to talk to us about ombre and also how you can create it in your spaces at home. Ombre is a French word and it describes the grading or shaded colour from light to dark. To add life to a room in this creative way, you'll need Plascon Cashmere Paint in shades of your choice, as well as paint brushes, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and some masking tape. All right, Claire, so now we know what we need, and you've got this board laid out to show us how to create this ombre effect. Where are we going to start? We're going to start measuring. So if you've got a, a wall, an accent wall, you're obviously going to measure the wall. We're using a board for viewers' purposes today. The board is 60 centimeters by 60. I've got five ombre colors. We're gonna divide 60 into it, into five, we get 12 centimeters. All right, Ewan, we've just finished our measuring. Now we need to start masking. All right, is there a trick to the masking when it comes to this also? Just go ahead and mask. There is a trick. You need to detack the glue on the back of the masking tape. Can I have your arm? <laughs> For sure. Just get rid of the glue by detacking it. So why would you essentially do that? Often your walls aren't correctly primed. And when you pull the tape off to reveal your final ombre, you end up seeing the primer or the raw plaster underneath all this intricate work. And you don't want to see that. <laughs> We're going to mask on the outside of this line so that the first color is 12 centimeters deep. We now are going to mask on the inside of this line we're not painting this part, so that we move to the third line where you're gonna mask on the outside again. So in other words, what we're doing is we're going outside, inside of the line. All right, Claire, so we're about to start painting. What are some of the colors that you've settled on today? At the moment, I love blue, so I've chosen blue. Now, you know what? Choosing one color is already very difficult. Here we're working with a range of colors. What advice can you give to our viewers to get this real ombre effect right? I would pop into the local paint retailer. We've got a PIC stand with all our beautiful colors. And if you actually look at our color cards, they set in the order of ombre. So you actually have your effect. Here it's going from light to dark. So basically you just buy the paint by name as on the color cards. You'd also choose other colors. You could use sunset orange or lobster red. They all set in color order. Dip the tip of a large brush into the tin and with a steady wrist, apply to the surface with sideways motions. Use a clean brush for the different shades of color. You can find this and other great DIY projects on Expresso's website and the Plascon Facebook page. Moving on, we're now gonna remove the masking tape and put it on the other side. Great. Allow to dry, then gently remove the masking tape and place it on the inside of the painted strips. Apply the rest of the color. This technique is a great way to create a focus wall or liven up an old piece of furniture. All right, Claire, so we've painted everything that needs to be painted. All we need to do now is remove the masking tape and then really hope that we did a good job. And reveal the masterpiece. <laughs> Sounds like you're doubting yourself there for a second. Not at all, <laughs> all I'm right. confident. Let's see, let's see. Claire, and that should do it. Look at that, a masterpiece, if I say so myself. I love it, hey? from light to dark. Claire, I wanted to ask you, is there a specific set of rules when it comes to creating an ombre effect? I mean, light to dark, top to bottom, vice versa? No, you know, I think it's an artistic interpretation of ombre, and in, in all honesty, it's an effect, so have fun experiments. Let's see the main steps again. Measure and draw out even lines on the board. Apply the masking tape, then add your favorite shades of paint to the columns. With Plascon, you can brighten up a dull room or even the whole house. Give it a try. Plascon Double Velvet, the washable and stain resistant paint. Now with a 15 year quality guarantee. Plascon, paint with imagination.